What is going on, Mouse? Tough on Stanford, and Lane. Oh, you tear walking on the guts. MLG up tilt, aka Kyle, aka XX Greninja XX. And this guy is bringing some fantastic threats. I'm bringing myself my Mega Alakazam team, and my opponent is bringing himself a Mega Low Plane team. On my team, we have Ronald Mosh, we have Mega Alakazam, we have Heatra Come Kill there, Lander C, and Mandy Buzz as my Defogger. He's bringing the Tornius T, he's bringing the Zapdos, the Azimeral, the Mega Low Plane, the Thermal Thorn and the Quagsire, only one possible Defogger on his team, that would be the Zapdos and one possible Rockstar. This is going to be a pretty intense match, there is some RNG involved, both that being in mind guys, we're going to get right to the battle against my boy MLG up till. Let me know what you guys think at the end of the video, and I'll catch you guys in the, at the end of the video for some post-match comments. My opponent's going to lead off with the Tornadoes, I'm going to lead off my Rotom Wash here, so David Tornadoes is out versus Whisk Me Away, he's going to go for a U-turn immediately. Because he's probably going to switch to the Quagsire. He does take a life for recoil. So this tells me that this tornado is not assault vested. So out comes PK Star Storm the Zapdos. So instead of Quagsire, it's actually Zapdos. I do get my Will O Wisp off on it. So it does burn the Zapdos. My Roam Wash is going to heal the leftovers. And Zapdos is going to take some burn damage. So Zapdos is going to go for Volt Switch. Hit my um, Rotom Wash for a neutral damage. Not too much though. So. I'm going to go into Flash Fire, the Thero Sword, as I do go for a Volt Switch myself. So I essentially get a Switch Initiative. So out goes Rotom Wash, and in comes my Blood Creator, the Heatran here. Um, Thero Sword's going to heal left, or it's told that this is not a Rocky Helmet Thero Sword. He's going to withdraw Flash Fire, the Thero Sword, and go into hmm, OU, the Quagsire, because Quagsire is now OU. I do go for a Lava Plume, it doesn't burn. Um, Quagsire does get healed with leftovers. And I'm going to hard switch Heatran out. And I'm going to go into Conkilder, hoping for maybe a Skull or something. Um, Quagsire does go for Toxic, so that really helps me a lot. Now, Conkilder gets the um, Guts boost from Toxic. And Conkilder's going to take some Poison. It's not that big of a deal. So, he's going to try his Quagsire. He's going to go into Kool-Aid, the Azeroth. I do go for Ice Punch, predicting the um, Tornadoes. does work. Um, Azeroth is Frozen Solid, which is great. Did not really like to rely on RNG, but not that I really like rely on RNG, it just happened. But it's such a whisking away the Rome Wash, and unfortunately his Azmeral just had the thought out and knocks out the Rome Wash with a choice to be able to play rough, so rip the dream. Um, next up comes my Mega Alakazam. Um, I'm going to withdraw Kool-Aid the Azmeral, I'm going to go on the PK Starstorm the Zapdos, as I do go for the Mega Evolution of my Alakazam. So, Mega Alakazam, I do go for a side shot. I guess it's predicting an energy ball. I do go for a side shock. It's going to hit um, Zapdos rather very hard. Knock it down to the yellow. And then the burn's going to do some damage to it. You go for a shadow ball here in case you decide to switch out Thero Thorn on it. And Zapdos is down. So now that's one down on my side, one down on his side. Out comes Daybreak the um, Tornadus. I'm going to switch Alkazan out. going to go on a Blood Creator the Heatra. And the Tornadus is actually going to go for a U turn here, which is not going to do shit to Heatra because Heatra is time to resistant to U turn. Um, basically, the U-turn is healed off um, Heatran. Out comes mm, OU, the Quagsire, as my Heatran does get healed with leftovers. Um, Quagsire gets healed with leftovers as well. And I'm actually going for a Toss Scare. This is a very bad play on my part. Well, I guess what I want to do is just poison the Quagsire, put on a timer. And the Quagsire is going to knock out a Heatran from an Earthquake. Um, I probably should have saved the Heatran for the Terrell Tower, but I do have Conkler and um, Alakazam for the Thero Thorn. So Alakazam is like Kong Kelder. Um, my point is going to switch his Quagsire out and go into Kool-Aid, the Azimeral here. As I do go for a Drain Punch, which does a decent chunk of damage to Azimeral, but not enough to two-shot it. And I know that Kong is probably slower than Azimeral. So I'm going to basically withdraw Kong there. I'm going to actually go into my Bonehead, the Mandy Buzz here. As my opponent will go for play. Rah! So I'm gonna play rough with one shot the um mini buzz. And I'm gonna go right into my Alkazam. It was unfortunate I did that because my mini buzz is my defogger of the team. I'm gonna go for a side shock here. And my opponent's gonna switch into flash fire the Ethereal Thorn. No, I go for Shell Ball instead, predicting the switch, which is nice. Um Thero Thorn gets heal leftovers. And he's gonna withdraw his Thero Thorn and go into Kool-Aid the Azmeral, probably predicting a Conqueror switch. So I do go for a sub 2 with my Alakazam. So now Mega Alakazam is hiding behind a sub. He goes for Aqua Jet to break the sub. 
and my Altan will go for a side shock and knock out the Azumar also. Azumar is now down. Um, next up will come Daybreak the Thunderous. We go for a substitute to keep trying to get recoil damage on Chris. I don't really have to worry about priority because the Azumar is knocked out. So, I'm just going to take some left, left for recoil. I'm going to go for another substitute. And he's going to go for a U-turn this time. Breaks the sub again. And at least, um, you can find out what he's going to switch into next. So, Chris is going to get withdrawn, which is fine. And next up will come is Taylor Swift the low punny. Now, I'm not trusting this low punny because I know Fake Out will knock out Alakazam from that range. We're going to come kill her instead. And my opponent is going to go for the Mega Evolution. So here's Taylor Swift the low punny. Taylor Swift is going for Fake Out. Um, the residual toxic damage is, is going to hurt um, Kongler some. But he's going to actually withdraw his, tor his um, Taylor Swift the low punny and go to Flash Fire the Thorough Thorn. And I do go for a Drain Punch. I don't know why I didn't just go for Mach Punch, because I could have risked like a high jump kick knocking out my Conkle there. But nonetheless, Thorn is down, he can't really set up rocks now, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, Conkle gets hurt by Poison, and he's going to Daybreak the th Tornadus. If you go for Hurricane, he misses, and the Ice Punch will one-shot this Tornadus, and that's exactly what I needed to win the battle. Sorry for the spoiler alert, but yeah. Um, next I'll come Taylor Swift the low point. Taylor Swift will Low Pony is probably going to figure out when I switch Conkler out. I'm going to my Landorus T, get the Intimidate off on the Low Pony. So yeah, Fake Out's going to hit Landorus T not too hard. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. I'm basically going to sack off the um, Landorus T so I can get a free switch in or something. So Landorus T is knocked out. And out comes Alakazam. And it's going to trace the Scrappy. Not that it really matters because Alakazam does not have um, a normal type move. We go for the side shock by Alakazam. Gonna do decent damage to Quagsire. Quagsire's gonna take some poison damage, and I'm gonna use side shock again on the Quagsire, and that is actually going to knock out a critical hit. So there is definitely some RNG in this battle. Um, next up comes Taylor Swift, the low point, and I'm gonna basically let Alakazam faint into a fake out, which means Conor's gonna come out next and clean off a mock punch, and that will be GG. But my punch will definitely knock out the Taylor Swift in this range. I feel really bad for the RNG in this battle. The Hurricane miss and the critical hit on Quagsire, and it's really unfortunate. The critical hit on Quagsire did not really matter because I still had um, Conkler as a backup option. You go for a Drain Punch and whatnot, restore HP. But the RNG against Conkler with the um, Hurricane miss from Tornadus definitely mattered, and it's what costs MLG up tilt the battle. MLG up tilt is a really good player. He has gotten a lot better since going to my streams, so he definitely should have won that match. I fully admit that. Um, thank you so much for the battle, MLG up tilt. I greatly do appreciate it, brother. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. And remember, stay salty, Rage Queers. Stay salty. Whoop whoop!